This video in the Wired Labs series on Omeka and Neatline will introduce you to Omeka's dashboard interface, the area in which you may add and edit content for an Omeka site. The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. If you are a student in a Wired Lab course, you should have been given access to an Omeka website by your instructor. If you need to set up your own site, you have several options. Begin by reading Omeka's documentation at the link found here on how to set up your own Omeka site either on your own web hosting service or through Omeka.net. For users of an existing class or research project site, once you have been given access to an Omeka site, you should receive an activation email. Check both your inbox and your spam folder for this email. Make sure your instructor has shared your username with you and follow the instructions in the activation email to create your password. Once you have created an account, you can navigate to your site's main URL and then add forward slash admin at the end of the URL to access the user login area. When you have logged in, you will be redirected to Omeka's dashboard area. From this area, you will be able to add and edit items, collections, and exhibits. Look at the menu on the left-hand side of the dashboard. You'll see a button for Items, Collections, and Exhibits. If your class will also be using Neatline, you'll see a separate button for Neatline. If we look at the Items, Collections, and Exhibit pages one at a time, we notice that each page has a similar structure. Each of these browse pages shows a list of content that you can choose to view, edit, or delete. As these pages look very similar, make sure you know which browse page you are on and where you need to be. Be especially wary of this with regard to adding and editing collections and items. You can view the public version of your Omeka site by clicking on the site's name at the top left corner of the dashboard. You can use this feature to check the appearance and functionality of your site as you work. You can also use this feature to view unpublished or private content on the site that public users cannot see. Omeka's dashboard includes a search box that you can use anywhere in the dashboard area to find an item, collection, or file. This can be useful when you are working with a high volume of items especially. You can choose which type of content to search from the drop-down menu found to the right of the search button. If you need to make changes to your user information, click on your name in the top right corner of the dashboard screen. Make sure you log out whenever you finish a work session.